be okay. We'll get some help here. Soon this will all be just a bad memory. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. I don't like this place. And that man. <laughs> Let's go. I have a bad feeling. She says I'm right next to him. Uh. He's a bit odd. But I think we can trust him. We don't have much of a choice anyway. Please excuse the mess. I needed somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be alright. That's good. How is it possible that we didn't notice the freaking androids, the mutant ones? inside earlier on it's nuts i should warn you this could be quite unpleasant you know what's strange For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You Deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Kara! Wake up, Kara! Meet me in the living room. I'll think about it. Let's see if we can avoid the reset this time. Come on. Gotta be able to do it. There's something about like... Ah, there are things going on up here! I don't know what these cables are. Oh. Okay, water came down. This could be good for electricity, getting rid of it. Yeah, look at that, look at that! Oh, we did it! Wow, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Last time, I probably never looked up. Yeah, that's why I didn't find that cable. I remember finding that cart, but not the cable. But now we gotta pretend. We gotta pretend that we have been reset. Gonna leave these guys alone this time. See what happens if we don't have their help. Don't look at them. We have one goal. Find Alice. Luther! Luther! Yes, Lako. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Ten minutes. 
Hmm, so we know from here that this door is locked. Probably when we escape, we still want to go to the back. Because otherwise, we won't have enough time. Speaking of time, 10 minutes! Alice is upstairs, we know this already, but I was just looking around for maybe an escape route? Last time, I... I think I did it pretty well and I didn't get hurt at all. Maybe this time I'll get found out a few times and get bungle it up a little bit. See how that goes. Uh, Luther is right there. Should I look at him? Hi. I'm sorry. About the little one. Okay, well... I think... Alice was in the last room here. Of course, it's the last room down the corridor. Oh, I think I forgot to check the magazine this time. It's a bit of a shame. Maybe there might have been a new article. Whatever. Luther! Yes, Luther. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Taco! What? The little one is gone! Oh my god. Keep going. I can't have just disappeared. Gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look! Okay, maybe Shit. we gotta hide. Where are they? Luther! Find them for fuck's sake! Ah. Fucking android. I should have taken it apart the minute I set eyes on it. Yes. Nothing. Are we good? There you ah! are. No! Uh oh. Catch the Luther. I thought he left already, but evidently not. <laughs> Oh my god! There's no point in running! You can't escape from me! Go! Oh, we are so crafty. They're over there. We're okay. We're okay. Not the front door. Not the front door. No. you dreams always end in tears you should have listened to me what are you doing 
Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you? I made you! You obey me! I'm your master! Instead of the monsters killing Zlako, Luther did it. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. Trust you. I was so scared of losing you. I bungled up this one a little bit faster than I would have liked, but we did get to see some new action sequences, which ended up with Luther joining us anyway. Yeah, last time we had the monsters kill him instead. Hmm, chase started. Oh, what are these ones? Maybe Kara and Alice dying. Oh, jeez. This time, that bathroom robot didn't even get to tattle on us yet. <laughs> we, we got found out really, really fast. Yeah, I got spotted right here. There's so many instances to get spotted at. In fact, it was kind of a miracle how well that went last time. If you get spotted, basically they increase the difficulty by giving you more QTEs, which is okay if you can do them well. Yeah. This was a really big one. Yes, escape before being reset. Most- ooh, half and half. Half and half. Most people don't look up. <laughs> yeah, so if you don't lose your memory, you can skip the whole portion where you have to regain your memory. There's a lot of different things you can do to try to um, regain that. Nothing about the bathroom android being loud this time. I would have liked to go through the room a little bit more. The house. Which is a bit of a shame, but that's okay. The important thing is we have Alice and we have Luther. Yeah. Hello, my two graves. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Amanda. <laughs> Kaya, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? Nothing! He died! Oh, I still miss something. Hmm. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let him self-destruct. What? Is that possible? To not let it self-destruct? I knew deviants had a tendency to self-destruct under extreme stress. 
but I didn't expect it to jump from the roof. I should have anticipated that. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? He seems to find it difficult when a Connor is destroyed and replaced. I know humans have difficulty dealing with loss. Working with him will be a challenge if it happens again. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. It's like we're actually the police now, even though technically we're not. <laughs> have a company car? Hostile, all right. Let's break into Hank's house. We can't just look in here, can we? Ooh, I wonder how Sumo's gonna react to me because Hank doesn't actually like me here. Either way though, last time I was reading a magazine here and I, I missed out on a lot of stuff. So I'm hoping that this time we can see some of that. Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy, dog. I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to save your owner. We don't have Sumo's name. Eh, Sumo's not an aggressive dog to begin with. How about we just not check up on Hank? We just walk around his house? Nope, okay. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant! <sighs> it's me, Connor! <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be unpleasant. fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> attack! That never gets old. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Get in here. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What do the stickies on his mirror say? I'm a little bit curious. I'm not grumpy, I just don't like you. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? No. Oh, yeah, let's, let's anger him. If you're unable to conduct this investigation, I'll have to inform your superiors. Go ahead, tell him, I don't give a shit! 
Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide, what do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Can I check out his mirror? Oh, I can't really zoom in though, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame. Um... I can't read it. <laughs> Can we look around his house now? Or do we gotta do it after we bring him his clothes? I think it might be the latter. There's nothing coming up. Alright. Okay, so this time, we're not gonna read the magazine. No, 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 no. Yeah, even the magazine is not readable right now. What do you want to wear? Whatever. He can be... streaky. I mean, all of those sets of clothing are kind of, like, really hippie looking. <laughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Ugh. Maybe take an actual shower. That might be a thing. Resident Warren issued an official warning to Russia. All right, forget about all this. Ooh. She demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region. He was just being lonely here by himself. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts have suggested that the specter of a third... What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how oh. long I can last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. That's new information? Is Hank that depressed? Holy crap. Oh, there's his son. Uh, Cole, was it? Cole Anderson. Hank lost his son. And that's how we find out. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Dang, they really don't let you get it all. I feel like there was more to look at in the living room. And now it's 90% complete. Mm-hmm. We got... Learn Hank was playing Russian Roulette. Find picture of Hank's son. But there's still two more things we're missing. So to get all of this, we would have to play this three times. Holy crap. Distant attitude? Oh. Could there have not been a distant attitude? Royal Hank's dog? He didn't seem that riled up to me. Didn't even... <laughs> didn't even ring the front door. Mmm. What do I want to do here? Do I want to mess it up on purpose, or... I'm not quite sure. Threaten the humans with guns before we leave? This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife Warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. 
cyber life. Oh, uh, where's Simon going? Mmm, we can follow Simon instead. Alright. Where the hell are you going? Marcus, that way. Which way? Does this make Simon like me more or something? Oh, I mean, eventually we end up back at the same spot anyway. Yeah, it's not that big of a difference. The business with the drone? Cyber Life warehouses. They have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Thank you. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Okay, we got 15 seconds. We run away. Kill the guard! Killing humans! Grab and hide. Hide myself. Kill the guard! What are you doing? I told you to. No remorse. Oh, Josh doesn't like it. Let's finish up and get out of here. <laughs> Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. The guy just goes and hides in that corner, John. He just doesn't even say anything. He knows. It's an implicit agreement. In fact, nobody said anything about me killing that guy. <laughs> I guess because we're all kind of afraid. A little bit afraid. Does it actually affect anything if I take them or not take them? Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? Nah. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. You took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back. It's too dangerous. No, I'm sorry. Bye. It's kind of crazy that he went deviant so quickly, too. I'm sorry. You can't come with us. I helped you. It's not fair. I helped you and now you're just gonna leave without me? You're no better than humans! What?! You're no better than humans! He triggered the alarm! Run! Wow. 
Over the fence, quick! I'm not sure how much I like this, man. <laughs> you are committing a class three offense. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. That guy got really angry at us for not taking him with us. He wasn't even a deviant until 20 seconds ago. We have blue blood and bio components. There will be enough for everyone. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't wanna hear, we will tell them. What they don't wanna give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Our numbers are kind of thin, but we got something going on here. Ooh, but I killed a human to do it. I think from scenes like this, you can sort of feel implicitly what they want you to do. Because it kind of feels like the correct choice is to take John with us and take the other three androids in the box with us. I think the reason it feels like that is because if we don't do that, then the whole scene about how, oh, why don't we just get the whole truck full of spare parts? You don't get an alternate scene to that. It just gets cut out entirely. So on some level, it feels like, oh, that's, you know, letting him come with us is probably the, the action that they expect you to take. And I feel like, uh, throughout playing this whole thing, there's a lot of this type of implicit action that they want you to take. The stereotypical action. 10% of people attacked. Most people grabbed the android and hid. Yeah, see that one? That one was an obvious choice too, if you don't want to be violent. Marcus spills blood. Resume search. We leave the androids. Again, most people want to free them. We do not let John join us. So John does not mention the key. And the alarm rings. Run to the fence. Back to Jericho. Oh, interestingly enough. Oh, I know what this is. Maybe earlier for the drone part? Because you can get hurt there. Uh, where is it? Yeah, maybe if Marcus was harmed, then maybe he wouldn't be able to escape Jericho or escape to Jericho. Maybe not something that drastic, but I think that's the thing that has an effect on that section here. Hmm. Roop returned with full bags. Not a full truck, but still what we came here for. We did it. Sexy as androids around. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, or maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. We'll try to be a little bit gentler with the approach this time. Last time, I was pretty rough with it. <laughs> By the way, I realized during editing that this timer is fake. It's a little bit of a disappointment. <laughs> Calm down. Every 
everything's all right. All we want is to know what happened. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with See? two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago, it's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed your mind. Uh, Don't think I heard this conversation before. Uh, sorry, honey. Changed my mind. Nothing personal. You're a lovely girl. I just, uh... You know... With him and uh <laughs> I mean not with him like that. I'm not that that's not what I you um Wow. I just got a job to do. <laughs> Alrighty, we know where it is. Let's have that showdown. And this time I'm gonna be super heartless. Shit. We're too late. And kill them. Kill them. Let's see how Hank likes that. Hank is definitely having a change of heart about the androids by here. Uh, not- well, I mean, my behavior to him is really bad, but he- in general, it seems like he does seem to start garnering sympathy for the androids. Don't move! Not like this lady. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, not the face! Not the face! <laughs> Didn't do anything! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Uh. Let them go, Quick, Connor. They're getting away. State of the art android. State of the art prototype android. Oh my god. Ah! No, 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 no. to do with any of this. <sighs> when that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. <sighs> I begged 
him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you, you've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her. seems like Hank got mad at me for the second android killing herself, but not the first one that I killed. I don't know, I feel like he shouldn't be that mad about me for this one because he up until now he still has been more on the oh my god androids are the worst side. We only got this android's life story after her girlfriend died, so it kind of feels a little bit like Hank is getting mad at me because of something that I couldn't have known until I killed them. Or maybe I'm just thinking too hard about it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. This one here, it leads to an ending all by itself. So maybe that's just like not finding the androids or something. Because I'm pretty sure we could just leave the scene without finding them. But that would not be... But that would not be Ruthless Connor, would it? Ruthless prototype android Connor does not screw up the job. No. And here, we don't even find the trace of her to begin with. That's pretty much it. Ah, this is not good because, like, we're not actually getting any information out of this. Every single deviant we've come across and are trying to catch, they're all dying. Connor's not getting anywhere with the investigation. Hey, I was hoping this lady would say new things, but she's not saying anything at all. Like, why did I even get you back if you were gonna be like this? God damn it. seen snow before it's pretty it's slowing us down how pragmatic but at least we won't meet any humans along the way i would hardly call a snowstorm pretty but you know to each their own this is more dangerous looking than pretty to me is it much farther we should arrive in an hour or so These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice.
What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Over there. Always comes when least expected. The bottom half of that machine looks like a real person. It's got like a beard and all. Jeez. Ah. That's a Halloween thing, right? That's not a real thing. Oh, there's a YK400 box here. Wait, YK400 is Alice, right? So they sold kids at the amusement park. Wow, that's... That's really something. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then she met a robot who wasn't very happy either. So they decided to run away together. To escape the shadow that haunted that house, they encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to travel with them. How does the story end? It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. The beginning portion of that story almost seemed as if Kara knew that Alice is a robot. The part about how Alice was different and she could never be like the other girls. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. 
I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Hmm, not quite what we were talking about. Okay, what should we do this time? Protect Alice? Put out fire! Why would you do that? Grab stick. Grab gun. Uh, I'm gonna grab a stick because why not? Go away! Go away, you hear me? Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. Just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Even androids can't tell other androids are androids. Sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Come on, Kara! The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin! We looked at everything this time. It still said 97% complete though, even though I read that magazine. Yeah, the locked one here is supposed to be the magazine, but it didn't register for whatever reason. Yeah, this one was one of the more linear ones, no surprises here. There's a magazine here. Oh! What happened to the man of the century? The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. Politics in focus. Are American senators really corrupt? China earthquakes kill... China earthquake kills 10,000 people. In 2028, Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy. They changed the way we live restructured our family life and altered the balance of society forever, whether for good or bad. Shortly after, Kamsky had disappeared. Ousted as the CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare, the man of the century has left the very world that he recreated. Kamsky's story begins in 2018, when the commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. The college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype, and spent years to no avail until hitting two breakthroughs, Blue Blood and Biocomponents. After unveiling his first working model, 
which publicly passed face-to-face -face Turing tests and stunned the world. Plans were laid for mass production, and CyberLife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet at the peak of CyberLife's powers, when the company was approaching a 500 billion valuation, rumors emerged that Kamsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. Oh, it sounds a little bit Steve Jobsy, huh? Today, sources claim Kamsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water, somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Kamsky? Talented, enigmatic man? Markets predict war. Stock exchange falls 10% on fear of Arctic conflict. President Warren, no approval. Yup. The aggregated U.S. stock exchange closed trading 10 points down yesterday following a string of similarly poorly, similarly poor performances in recent weeks. Financial experts are attributing this poor performance to huge devaluations of consumer stocks as the market continues to bet that America will go to war over the Arctic sooner rather than later. This assessment is supported by healthy performance of military stocks, with aviation and weapons manufacturers enjoying unprecedented growth. Investors are also continuing to favor CyberLife because of its partnership with the Department of Defense to develop and supply military androids. With Russia and the United States continuing to dominate world news and neither side likely to back down, the market is expected to continue falling. Yeah, well, somebody's making a profit. Not the stock markets though, apparently. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Ah, now we get the option to talk about the photo. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. No, we asked about that before already. RE9. We know the Deviants experienced an emotional shock. A violent trauma or a sense of injustice. Well, those girls at the Eden Club sure had a reason to feel a sense of injustice. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. I know why I exist and who designed me. I have a reason to live. I guess that's the difference between us, Lieutenant. Whoa! Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? A 
Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation. Whoa! And have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Oh! I was just gonna say that was the first time that hostility unlocked a new path for us. Holy crap! Well, it's not like we lose anything anyway. Whatever. <laughs> and that's what Hank's thinking too. It's a little bit weird, huh? He sees those two girls as people, but yet he's okay to kill me. I'm just a machine. Hank shot Connor. I think this is probably one of our biggest deviations so far. Ooh, I'm really looking forward to see what this hostility will breed. Yeah, photo scene in Russian Roulette. I needed that. I needed that. Remain logical. Hank is hostile. Oh my. <laughs> 